Yeah. So <laughs> I guess when we go back, this is this game, as we said, came out 2012. Um, in a period of time where a game like this didn't really exist in the same f- kind of format, um, point and click games were still in the old school, more monotonous way of point and click games of combining random puzzles. Puzzles, yeah, and combining random items and doing random things to get random outcomes um, for the scripted story. So this one is where like these kinds of games started. I think if if we don't have walk, if we don't have this episode of The Walking Dead, Tell by Telltale, I don't think we ever get Life is Strange. We don't get any of the Telltale series. Um, we're never here making memes about skin suit Telltale choices in games. I don't think choices in games become such a a big point of reference like i don't think we ever get like games where you know like uh, even stuff like i guess around this era heavy rain was some point close to this um and like what did you just say this was uh 2012 i think heavy rain was the year before this was oh, it because i know heavy rain was ps3 because I remember the that year before yeah. or year after. Um, like there's there's heavy rain. 2010. 2010. So a couple a year, a couple years before. A couple years, yeah, couple years this. before. Um, yeah, heavy rain was a couple years before this. So I guess I'll now, tell you what we wouldn't have got without this narrative wise mm-hmm. games about fathers. Yeah, you yep. don't think we would have had like The Last of Us and stuff without this? Surrogate fathers, yeah. No, father yes, figures. Surrogate, surrogate and <laughs> surrogate fathers, father figures, really big in video games now. Yeah, not without this. Not without this, and I think it is. I don't remember before this a a, a game that featured such a relationship. Um, and and yeah, perfect. I'd say it's quite unfortunate that the writers for season one left after that season. And yeah, I think it's um. Like it, it's 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 interesting because yeah, definitely season two takes a very different turn. But I guess if we're just looking at this episode, this episode's uh, I think it's it. You can definitely see moments where it's stuck between it's becoming this new thing, but there's definitely relics of the old in this game. Um, like there's still moments of like the the motel scene where it's you're figuring out how to kill everything in the turn. It's like. Very, uh, I, I guess using the term gamified or feeling the need to, to pad things out with gameplay. Um, but of the choices, I think it, it, it sets up well. I think they get more adventurous with choices as the game goes on. Um, the Doug and Carly choice, I think, was a big thing when the game was originally released because it kind of went, oh, holy fuck, you're going to have a completely different character play in the rest of this game. And like, you know, that is like choosing Doug or Carly really, when you look at like the, um, the choices chart, choosing Doug or Carly kind of separates the next couple of sections of the game into two different timelines where you have Doug or Carly. Um, and it's, it's, you know, when you look at the timeline charts for this season, I think there's a lot of choices and a lot of interesting ways this game can go. You chose Dougley. Why, if Jamie? Why did you choose Doug? Like, what was it about Doug that made you choose Doug? Because I think that was a big point of discussion for us um, when we got it. Because we felt like, at least uh, Dylan and myself, Ashley, not so much. But like, you spend a lot more time with Carly. It doesn't feel like you bond as much with Doug. Um, oh, it's a combination. You choose both. Oh, I'm so such an idiot. Um, Shit! So you don't even need to put in the cheat code, the Konami code, and then you can choose both. Konami code, you get both. Um. So, I guess uh, I know, I know, Michael. I'm sorry. So I guess, um, Dylan and Ashley, like how playing through this. I guess Ashley, you only got a certain way through this episode the first time you played. And yes. Dylan, you've played back. He's now the furthest he's ever been. He's the been furthest in he's ever been. In the whole this, time this yep. game's been. This, uh, yeah, in the, the 12 years. Um, um, Dashley. Oh, my God. Let's not. I don't know. I think that's an offensive way to say it. No, that's she's Doug not. and Ashley. That's Doug no. and Ashley. <laughs> it should be Dashley. Dashley. Mm-hmm. Um, so... 
yeah, how do you how do you both feel about this episode narrative wise? Um, it's you know, twelve years later. Um, we've had a, probably a very big uptick in video game narrative since this was released. How do you how do you both mm. feel um, about it now that we've we've played it through? We'll start with you, Ash, because this is your first time all the way through, I guess. I mean, I think it still holds up. Obviously, it's very good. I think the only issue is maybe people are set at like a ten straight away, <laughs> but maybe that's how you would be in like a a life or death situation. I guess you know, like Larry pretty much wanting to kill you as soon as you walk into the room. Uh, yeah, people are like very heightened, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, that's probably because of the situation. Um, yeah, I, I love all the Clem uh, Lee stuff. I think that's clearly the strongest and why it's, that relationship has resonated in gaming history. Um, but yeah, obviously a big bunch of hard choices and never the choices that you actually want to make, you know, like kill Larry. Like kill Larry. Uh, Funny, that's a choice. Just leave Larry to die. And uh, Dylan. Swap the heart medication for... <laughs> Swap the heart uh, medication. Paracetamol. Um, and Dylan, what about you? I think the thing I was thinking the most was that... Um, I'm like, it, I, I think it holds up well. The animation stuff was sticking out to me mm, the most. Like, that's true. A lot of really wide-eyed like yes. sort of reaction and stuff. And, At one point, um, I thought... Uh, Clementine's eyes had rolled into the back of her head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It was> just, <laughs> she's just rolling yeah. her eyes here. Yeah. I feel like that's the thing. It, it's not like terrible. It doesn't make it like, like it doesn't ruin it at all. But I know that it's that thing of maybe looking back. I just picture all the games to look the same. When uh, between this one and the season two, it gets only a little bit better, but still better. Um, but then by the time they got to the last season, and I think they actually did a little bit of actual mocap for that one or something. Well, I think the or last season improved. So. Either last season or season three is a new engine. Yeah. So it's, by the time you get to then, yeah. it's definitely a lot better. But I think in, in my mind, it's all sort of looked the same, just marbled together. But yeah, the animation stuff stood out. Voice acting and the writing's still solid. That's obviously the, the highlights and the main reason as yeah the the game still resonates is the the story and relationships and the the voice acting so that all still works um i'd say yeah so the it's sort of weird to think about when you when you're like the stuff you're talking about like the gamification of stuff it's funny because for years like all the way back to early 90s late 80s whatever they had like full motion video games right um where you'd nearly just watch a movie like you click on some stuff or whatever else um on the screen and, and whatever else and this is like them attempting to do something like that but in like a fully like like not filmed like a, yeah, an actual digital. game setting not yeah, like filmed like setting. yeah digital setting um and then somewhere between this and i guess the second season they like fuck it like people like people accept that people are, are willing to have section long sections of a game where they're literally just sitting there watching doing q2e q2e events and making some uh dialogue choices but don't actually need to have hey i'm quote unquote walking around like that section where you're walking around or sneaking around in the the hotel it's like this is just a bit uh finicky yeah and and it's it's very funny there's um it it, like i was working i guess this has always been on wine dylan since we played through the last of us um last time and when we played through the last of us we talked about that section um where you get to um joel's brother's like kind of uh, his place in i think it's michigan is it? i can't remember whatever state it is but like you catch up with him and there's all this story stuff happens but then all of a sudden his base is under attack and you have to um fight through the people and then go chase after uh, ellie and stuff and it's like it, it, i always remember playing through that being like this is just here because Naughty Dog is worried that players are going to get bored of not having to shoot something in a little while. Um, mm. And I guess it, it now comes up with it that um, is is it comes up to the point where games where you see them p- make games, like even like Final Fantasy, like to this, this very moment, like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, like I, I think that game suffers from it in a real bad way where it's like instead of just having a section that is more story focused it's like no well, okay we'll chuck a fucking mini game in here so we've got um the the thing like like even just i'm playing through costa del sol at the moment and that part's really dragging for me um because it is just mini games <laughs> 
for for no better reason, you know. Um, Jamie says uh, the main problem with season two is they kept changing the story over and over. Retu- returning characters wasn't meant to return until season three, and made the same characters in New Frontier. Episode four was very much changed once again. It was supposed to be about a mysterious group. Um, we'll we'll dive back into like we'll talk more. I guess we'll talk more when season two when we get to it. If we get to it, when we I'm going to say when because I think I did enjoy today. Um, you're really awkward if you turned around right now and said, "You know what? Never again. Not doing this. Never again. again. Never again. No. Oh, this is a terrible idea." <laughs> um, but no, this is um, we'll wrap it up here because we're going for two and a half hours. But thank you very much for joining us for the first episode of Storied Experience. I've been Kieran March and joined by Ashley Hobley and Dylan Blight, as you know. Um, Storied Experience is going to be an evolving project i feel like it's going to be something that changes and something that we we tweak and we start doing different formats for um but i'm excited thank you very much um, michael for doing that i'm excited to to see where we go with it we'll definitely be playing through all of season one of walking dead i do want to look at um the expanse because i think it i don't think any of us played the expanse when it was released by the the new version of telltale so nope um, and i would argue most people didn't yeah, and I do. <laughs> so it'll it'll be something to look at as we compare the original, what I would consider the launching point for the modern day version of Telltale compared to what it is now, um, compared to their first release as a as a new company under the name. So, thank you very much for joining us. Um, this I'm hoping will go up into YouTube in some format. So, um, check it out there again. Uh, we'll be doing more across the Story Experiences show. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your uh, your time. Play some video games. And uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Have a good night. Bye. Uh, don't let anything bite you.